the Iqbal Stadium in Faisalabad. And welcome to the crucial round of the Wills Cricket World Cup. It's the quarterfinal round. If you fail today, you simply fly home. Let's take a look at the eight teams involved. Today, England play Sri Lanka. They were top of Group A here in Faisalabad, in Bangalore, in India. There's a match of great passion in these parts. India versus the World Cup holders, Pakistan. And then on Monday, South Africa, who will become World Cup favourites, in fact, meet the West Indies. And the fourth quarter-final is New Zealand against Australia. Well, later you can see highlights of that match, India versus Pakistan from Bangalore. But for the moment, let's just dwell on the events here in Faisalabad. On the one hand, Sri Lanka. Well, it's the first time they've ever been favourites to play against England. And they have terrific spin, fast scoring, and an outstanding player in Aravinda de Silva. And England, well, they've wobbled, they've limped along, they made many team changes, but they made elementary errors. And quite simply, England just keep on losing. But let's take a look at the teams now. For England, there's no Cork. Dominic Cork is injured, Ramper Cash is not playing, and Neil Smith is 12th man. And a curious role for Philip de Freitas, a roving one with the bat. Let's see how he gets on. And as for Sri Lanka, there's Aravinda de Silva, flanked by two experienced batsmen, Gurusinga and Ranatunga, and the spearhead of the spinners is Mura Litaran, the controversial off-spinner. Well, the pitch here at Faisalabad is known for runs, plenty of runs, supposed to be extremely flat. But let's check on that today with Robin Jackman. We've seen many pitches in Pakistan in this Wills World Cup tournament, and this one is really no different whatsoever. Devoid of grass, so the seamers won't be happy with that. Other than there are areas on the pitch and important areas, in fact, all over the wicket. It looks like a jigsaw puzzle, and these pieces actually move. Now, that straight away indicates that there'll be very, very little bounce on this pitch if any at all. I see a shin-high sort of wicket, slow and low. Whether it spins or not might depend on how many of the edges get knocked off during the match. Well, it's been humid and overcast and rather close at the beginning. Uh, we wonder whether the ball will swing, whether the toss will be important. Let's join the captains now on the middle with Bob Willis. Michael Atherton going to toss the coin. Arjuna Ranatunga calls heads. And it's a tail, so... Michael Atherton has won the toss. Mike, you've won the toss. What are you going to do today? We're going to have a bat this morning. So uh, you're going to allow Sri Lanka to chase runs? Yeah, that's right. They've chased pretty well so far, but uh, the group games, there's a little more pressure in the knockout stages than the group games chasing runs. Hopefully we can get a score on the board. It looks a good pitch and get them under pressure. And bad news about Dominic Cork. Yeah, he's not fit. It's disappointing for him, but we've got 14 people here, and that's the reason for bringing 14 for injuries, and we expect the people who come in to do a good job. And Robin Smith, he's OK? Yeah, he's fine. He'll open the batting with me. All the best today. Thank you. Arjuna, uh, you've made one change to your side. Yes, we kept uh, Pushpakuma, the pace ball out from the last game and brought the experience uh, Vikram Singer into the side. You've really set this uh, World Cup alight. Are you confident of being able to smash the England bowlers around? Uh, we are very positive, not that uh, we are very confident too, but uh, we don't want to be overconfident. Uh, we have been playing well, we just want to keep the same thing going. It's 50 overs aside, remember, this match. In the commentary box with me today are Bob Willis, Robin Jackman, Jeff Boycott, Ranjit Fernando and Michael Holding. So let's join play now with the fourth ball of the morning. There's one run on the board and Wickram, a singer, is bowling to Atherton. Lovely looking shot by Michael Atherton. That's going to go all the way to the fence. England captain off in confidence style. England opening out in uh, red style there. Ball straying a little bit outside leg stamp and a jab, a perfect jab. Beat mid on. Yet another change for Ranatunga. He's not going to get there. The first boundary for Robin Smith. England progressing well. That shot certainly showing what this pitch promises. Robin Smith coming down the pitch and just jabbing on that. The ball beating the close infielders and racing down to the boundary. Michael Atherton was saying yesterday that uh, he wanted to bat first and try and. Uh, set Sri Lanka a target in excess of 300. That'll be four of them. 
can't play a much better cover drive than that. A super shot there by Atherton. Just letting the ball come into it to him, leaning onto it. The ball just racing to the boundary, just like a tracer bullet. Edge and take on. Kaminda Vaas gets the first breakthrough for Sri Lanka. He's dismissed the England captain. Atherton goes for 22, England 31 for one. Graham Hick in at the fall of Atherton's wicket. Superb one day international career, averaging just a touch under 40 with 200s and 1550s. See the end of Michael Atherton. Need to play that cut shot down a third man, he'll be disappointed with that stroke. The ball not quite bouncing as much as he was expecting. That was predicted by Robin Jackman in his pitch report. It's going to be a day of low and lower bounce, but success for Chaminda Vass in the commentary box now. Jeffrey Boycott and Tony Lewis. Well, thank you very much, Bob. Last ball of this over. Oh, and a sketchy, scratchy start there by Graham Hick. Aiming to play the ball squarish for the covers, gets a thick inside edge, and that might easily have hit the stumps. Runs there, fine leg is up, just saving one, and that just went very fine. Wickram the singer is very annoyed with himself there. Well, he should be cross about that, that was poor thinking. I mean, Robin Smith advances down the pitch, just puts him off a little bit, and then he slants it down the leg side with fine leg up. He probably does that normally when he's got a fine leg on the boundary. He's probably just forgotten that he got the fine leg in the circle, but that's uh, poor thinking. That's for runs crashed away in the air. A thundering shot from Robin Smith, deliberately played, over cover. Well, you can't bowl these at Russ Smith, that's his favourite area. Short and wide, he'll smack you all day long. In the air, out. Poor shot by Hick. It's the way he got out, very recently just pushing the ball to mid wicket. Absolutely no trouble. And that's a very disappointing innings by Hick for England. Well, it's a nothing sort of shot, just sort of chips it. And surely as a batsman, he must have looked and seen the man there in that catching position. It's as if that is his shot to try and work on the onside, but it wasn't a very good one. Just chipped it in the air, it was an easy catch. And that really was a very poor shot. 58 for two. Graham Thorpe is the new batsman, left-hander out there to join Robin Smith. He's clubbed that away through mid-wicket. That was a scientifically played shot, although with a cross-back. The ball had to be very full of length then to be certain of a good contact played. And it was full enough. He made sure he got over the ball. Not a great deal of time for the ball to spin from where it pitched. And there is no mid-wicket. Neither on the boundary or inside the circle. Critical for the two men at the wicket. At least one of them to go through to a score of some note. 100 will be very handy, but even 80, 80 or 90 would start it up in it. Now, we've got an ask here. Robin Smith didn't run with any urgency my gut feel is that he was in but we'll see it might be a bit close robin but i think he is in as well yes it's very very close that ball has hit the stump and the bat is just about in not a long way in but once you're in you're in well he has been given out Well, there you go, we'd all be wrong. BK Ramasawami is the man who hit the button. Robin Smith's amazed. I'm a little surprised, I must say. 
Philip de Freitas, the man who's come in above Alex Stewart. So obviously he's come in for a reason, and that reason is to try and get after the spinners. In the air, high, down to long on. And long enough. There was a man down there. The Freitas took him on and won. Good blow by the Freitas. Ball was up to him. And he just lofted it over long on. Well timed. And as you said, Robin, went far enough. That's bowled him out. That's a dreadful shot from Graham Thorpe. The man England needed to bat throughout the innings has played a real hash of a cricket stroke, and England are now 94 for four. Well, I can't say anything else after what Bob said there. What a terrible shot. They're just doing very nicely with Philip de Freitas, upsetting them. He never gets his pad in the line of the ball, so if he misses it, it hits the pad, and then the pad would be outside off stump. That's a shot he certainly will look back on. Has been very, very poor and poorly played and poorly thought out. 94 for four, England. Alex Stewart in at number six. Next big hit, high in the air, over long off the six, that's gone five rows back. Magnificent strike from the Freitas. Well, that's the difficulty. You bowl the spinner's length, you're going to have a chance of getting him out if you miss it. it. But if he hits it cleanly, it's going to disappear. And it looks as if it's his day. That's a very sweet hit. Deployed to the Freitas higher up in the order. Certainly has been of some value to uh, England. He's played the spinners quite aggressively. And played the seamers with a certain alarm. And a lash. That certainly was a superb shot by the Freitas. Coming down to Vikram Singer. Vikram Singer not getting too much bounce with the softer ball and dispatching that brilliantly over the mid-wicket region. Oops, a misfield for the first time, and that's the skipper. It was a good cover drive, went absolutely straight to cover. Right in the slot for the Freitas, and a superb drive, everything in place. Not many England supporters here, but they love the half centuries. Oh, a terrific blow. Well, he got carried away there. A bottom edge brings it. Off comes a helmet. 50 runs to the Freitas. Good decision to promote him in the order. Bowls in. He bowls him, Stewart down, not to the pitch. Big spin, all over. That's Murlidharan giving the ball just a little bit of air. Stewart rushing down. The ball going right through the gate, hitting his middle stump. And so he goes for 17 of 38 balls. That's a great shame. There was no need for that, uh, as you'll see afterwards. But uh, good bowling by Murlidharan. 145 for five. Jack Russell. Good shot. That is a good shot. Improvised beautifully. He struck it away for four. Well, they say the Freitas is in pretty good form with the bat. And he has to be in good form to play a shot like this. Gave himself a bit of room, drifting a bit outside leg stump, and hit it beautifully over extra cover. Well, that, 
those are Jack Russell's figures his run scored so far in this tournament hard to see how those performances justify the fact that Mr. Illingworth is saying he's just as good a batsman as the other English players well he certainly hasn't shown that in this tournament Seen this stroke played a lot in the tournament. You will do with spinners bowling and field set straight. The South Africans have certainly adopted the sweep shot more often than not against the slower bowlers. That's out, dragged it on. And that's the risk you take playing it. Playing any shot with a horizontal bat does have a risk factor to it. And Russell pays the penalty. The thing is, when you're playing that shot, you've got to make sure that your pad is in the way if you miss. You can't afford to leave your stumps exposed at all. Jack Russell getting an under edge there, the ball going back onto the stumps. Six wickets down for England, 171 on the board. It's Goff Martin and Illingworth to come. So England, dare one say it, in danger of not batting the full 50. That is criminal. Have to wait on the umpire for the signal for this one. Leg by signal. Very important that England do bat through these 50 overs because they are going at a reasonably good rate at the moment. 40 overs, 171 runs before that last ball. That's not bad going. Just the six wickets lost being the negative aspect. And he's giving him out. Well, he's let the ball go from pretty wide round the wicket. It has to have turned. Certainly, the wicket is taking turn. Let's have another look. I think them, Mr. Mabu Bashar would have to be pretty sure that this ball would have straightened enough to hit the stumps. That ball seemed to be drifting a bit down the leg side, hitting the freighters pretty low on that right leg, but it's 173 for seven. Darren Goff, and now with a, a very difficult job to do, England, ten overs to go nearly, and seven down. This is why he's out there, and I think he's a little bit unlucky to be out there. That'll beat mid-off and go all the way to the fence. Beautiful piece of timing from Dermot Reid. Yes, very well thought out. Just gave yourself a little bit of room to leg. There he is, and just opens up the offside for himself. <laughs> Chaminda Vaz proving very expensive. The 200 up for England. 203 for seven. a terrible misfield not learning from their mistakes Sri Lanka well it doesn't matter what the bowler does and how he thinks if you get feeling like this dear oh dear that wasn't even rushed how I many does just a canter in pick it up with two hands and throw it back 49 the partnership between Reeve and Goff Here's the last over, Jaya Surya. Goff's got that away very nicely. There's the 50 partnership and a very valuable boundary for England. Well, this is a really smart shot. He knows that the left arm spinner's been bowling fairly flat into the leg stump. And he played an excellent shot to bring up the 50 partnership. The reverse sweep will go for four this time. <laughs> Reeves has been trying it for about a quarter of an hour. Perfect execution this time. Yes, he was lucky he got it a bit too full in the bowler, so it was easy then. 
Just the length was wrong by the left arm spinner. 2-3-1 England. That's four more. Terrific last over for England. They're going to get up to around 240. And they're back in this with a fighting chance. Well, he's known in England as a one-day specialist, is Dermot Reeve. He's played some magnificent innings for Warwickshire at the end of innings. He improvises so well, so it tends to get the bowlers a little bit rattled. That's the end for Reeve. Jaya Surya's answer. Reeve goes for a very well-made 35. England with just the one ball to go. 235 for eight now. Well, it doesn't matter about him losing his wicket. It's been a great over for England. Sure, he would have liked to have hit it, but it's good bowling right up and full. And it's a nice little cameo, is that? 35 or 34 balls. That may be the difference between England just scraping home for a win. 235 for eight. Well, in many ways, it was a promising start by Smith and Atherton, but then some rather woeful batting in the meantime reduced England to pretty modest proportions. It was only when Philip de Freitas came to the crease, promoted to number five, that the innings took any shape, got any momentum at all. His 67 was excellent and he's a little unlucky to be judged LBW. Nice flourish towards the end by Reeve and Goff. 235 for eight and 50 overs the England score. As for the Sri Lankan bowling, the spinners were excellent. Muralitaran and Darvasena, Jaya Surya and De Silva all did an excellent job for their captain and Vas at the start and the end was very economical. So good performance in the field by Sri Lanka who now need 2.36 to win at 4.7 and over. Let's see how they get on with their reply. So it'll be a busy time out there in the covers. That's Graham Thorpe. That's Jai Surya driving that half volley very firmly, but brilliant fielded in the covers. The pitch has looked good for batting, but certainly the slower you bowl, the better. And there's plenty of turn for those who can wrap a finger around the ball. This is Richard Illingworth. Beautiful shot. Orthodox shot, and that's running much quicker. Much quicker that time. Lovely follow through. Half stopped by the fielder, but four runs. And that's a like, cracking shot. What a cracking shot. Two long half volleys in Illingworth. But a bit of footwork too helped. And in both instances, Kalawitana was on top of the ball. Head over the ball. Nothing leaning back. Kalawitana displaying his wide repertoire. That time, Illingworth straying slightly onto middle and leg. And Kalawitana banging it past mid on. Well, you can say that again. Well, I think Karuitana rather likes this. He's bowled him. Well, amazing. There was a clatter. The shouts went up. Karuitana looking absolutely regal. Suddenly has to pick up his bat and walk. That's a great blow for England. Seeing the back of Kalavitana. Kalavitana going for the sweep, opening the leg stamp, and Illingworth just hitting that one. Asanka Guru Singer is the left handed batsman, of course, a very familiar face in the international cricket circuit. A player of real talent, but that's uh, the reason he's out there. Sri Lanka certainly has a lot of batting, but um, it is important for Sri Lanka that um, they do not lose too many wickets at the beginning, and a great deal rests on Asanka Gurusinghe's shoulders. Oh, so nearly played that on the stumps. And he gave an absolute lash outside the off stump. A rather uncharacteristic shot by Gurusinghe early in the innings. So England really uh, 
thinking the way through this. Not a great total to defend. 235 for eight was England's score, and uh, to open the bowling with Richard Dillingworth is a bit of a gamble, certainly an innovation. Oh, in, it was in and out. In and out. It was travelling like a rocket. That was a terrific effort, in fact. That did go like a bullet off uh, Gurusinghe's bat, and a great effort there. Yeah. Terrific bang, and into space, perfectly placed. And what a menace this man is. Jaya Surya. Perfect certainly, shot. Certainly Jaya Surya turning out to be a difficult proposition for England. He's um, certainly made his intentions clear that time coming down the pitch. Good placement. There's a man there on the line, but uh, Jasuria placing that wide off him. Beautifully played. Illingworth looking to bowl down next side. A most fine sweep. Superbly played. Really Sri Lanka steaming ahead. Illingworth that time straying down the leg side. Jasurit just getting a little bit of bat on it and playing it very fine, beating the short fine leg in the ring. Well, that's top class touch play. Over the top, straight over the top. All one way traffic this. Illingworth put a hand up. Never really had a chance of making a catch. Once again, Illingworth giving a little bit of yard that time, but Jasure quickly onto it, hitting it past the bowler. Absolutely brilliant shot. There's a lot of runs there behind the bowler, and Jasure making full use of it. This is murder. 34 for one. 35 for one. So this is how it looks at the Iqbal Stadium. Kaluitana's the one victim. Peter Martin still bowling. Well, that's a terrific hit again. Wide across the line. First bounce into the perimeter advertising and the Sri Lankan fans love it well it's attractive well that was bad luck for Martin I think you've got to bowl it straight now it's one of those things if uh, he doesn't hit it you hit Martin must be really wondering what he should be doing to Jasuria Darren Goff immediately round the wicket to Jasuria Restricting any full flow of the arms on the offside, but not on the arm. Is it that well enough? Yeah, I'm impressed with Darren Goff having made up his mind to go around the wicket, but it's so important that when you go around the wicket, you're very clear on what line you're going to bowl. From bowling around the wicket, if you pitch on the stumps, which that does, then it's probably going to hit leg stump or go down, so they just whip it away on the onside. That's just a poor delivery. And there's no one on the onside out. Both the men out are at deep third man and deep extra cover. 59 for one. Well, I don't know what you say about that, except it was a belter of a shot. He just stands there and delivers. You bowl length. And he's just stood up, whacked it from outside off stump, off the front foot. And that's just been put down. It's Goff again. Another very, very difficult chance for the lad. He, he had a really hard chance at mid-on off Guru Singer earlier. He hit it like a shell, mid-off, I should say. This was equally difficult. He's at full stretch here. 
really it's a pity there wasn't a six foot two lad or six foot five well philip de Freitas is going to uh, take over from from darren goff that's his 50 32 balls well played Well, that was a terrific shot, wasn't it? It was a good length ball, we were talking about just outside, and he just waited for it and then clubbed it with the bottom hand. Oh. Is that four or six? Six, I think, yeah. Landing underneath us, underneath the roof. Well, when it went come up, on, on. I thought, out, out of the field. He just looked to hit this with so much ease. What's this? He just threw the ball, nice little chip with a wedge at golf, and it disappeared for six. That's a great shot. Just stood there perfectly balanced and smashed it away down the field for four. Well, that's a scintillating off drive. They pitched it up, but they play the ball with so much ease. It's the economy of movement that I like. Oh, here we go again. Six. Well, this is like a charity match. It's like the old benefit matches we play in England when a lad's played 10 years for his county and he gets a benefit. The county players play against the local league players who you expect to be better than. So when you've had a few overs, you belt them around. And But here they are, they're belting around a supposed international pace attack. Yeah. Oh, all right, then. Four more. I don't think they like running too much, this lot. They must be a little unfit. They've got short legs. They won't stand the strain. They just stand there and deliver. Belt four. Belt six. Now, where else shall I hit it? Where am I hit it? They say. I'll try that gap next. Here we are trying to have a discussion about the most valuable player and can't get a word in edgeways. Oh, that's coming up here. That's on the roof. Set the satellite dish. Well, I've run out of things to say. I mean, he hits the ball with so much ease. He's graceful with it, and he just lovely full swing of the bat. There's plenty of bottom hand in it, but he doesn't hike it to leg. He just goes through the shot. Got tremendous height on that. Change in bowling, Michael Atherton introducing Dermot Reeve into the attack. Four more. Well, we now know he's not interested in the single. 100 partnership. What a splendid performance. Just what England want, isn't it? Well, it's a no ball, but big disappointment for England. This ball right up there in the slot, angling in beautifully from about off stump, wide of the crease, just angling in, hitting leg stump. Now then, now then, Russell's confident. Beautifully taken down the leg side. Well, he bowls for this sort of stump in, does Dermot Reeve. Just swinging it down, full of where the pads are. Jack Russell's got him. Yes, he's got him. Beautifully thought out. Dermot Reeve's the man. We shall see the third umpire in a minute. 
Yeah, the phone's ringing. What do you think? Yeah, he's definitely out, but the button doesn't work. OK, I'll give him out then. Off you go. Hundred and thirteen for two. Aravinda de Silva. Again too short. This time de Silva's not gonna miss out. Just gently picks his spot. And that lovely wristy cut takes it away to the fence. That's beaten Goff. Exquisite timing again from Aravinda de Silva. It's 130 for two. So Richard Dillingworth's the roller. Well, misfield by Stewart. And that'll run for four. Well, it wasn't necessarily the easiest one to take. It's running quickly away from him to his weaker hand, the left. But uh, you expect fielders at this level to get something on the ball there. Just went under his hands. He didn't get low enough. In England's innings, Sri Lanka used uh, four spin bowlers. England are now going to use their part-time off spin of Graham Hick. In the air, brilliant catch. Robin Smith is a catcher. Aravinda Silva is the man who's out. And at last, something's happened and dropped England's way. Well, I said England need a bit of luck, and this is a bit of luck. I mean, it's a short ball, just turning slowly. He meant he did squarer than that. It sliced off the face of the bat, face edge, and it was a neat catch by Robin Smith then. That's a wicket, a little bit gifted to England. 165 for three. Arjuna Ranatunga, the Sri Lankan captain. Oh, that's a gorgeous shot. And they just might have to be a little harder. When you see a glorious shot like that, I'm not so sure though, but I don't think they can afford to be lackadaisical or sloppy. Tunga recognises a half volley when he sees one and plays it beautifully. Stays well on top of the ball. And another full toss from Hick. It's uh, easy stuff. Exactly what England don't want. But it suits Sri Lanka fine, thank you very much. Big shout, and that's been given out. I think Ranatunga will be surprised. I must say, at first sight, it looked a pitch outside leg stump, so it'd be fascinating to take a closer look at that one. Darren Goff's the bowler. Ranatunga scored at a terrific pace. Well, it's marginal, isn't it? You've got to make a split second decision whether that pitched on leg stump and would have hit or it pitched just outside. Tilakaratne is the new batsman. It's a quick single, Goff needs a foot on it, he's got a foot on it, and there'll be the question asked of the third umpire. That really spelled disaster for Sri Lanka. It's so similar to the Robin Smith run out, and that certainly looked as if he got in. This is this is the crucial one. There, the ball's hit the stump, and he's short. And that certainly spells disaster for Sri Lanka. The red light signals that the mainstay of the Sri Lankan batting side at the moment is on his way. Roshan Mahanama, an opening batsman by trade. Test cricket. Beaten hit. 
That'll take Sri Lanka ever closer to a place in the semi-finals. They're 219 for five. Is symptomatic of so much that's been wrong with England cricket. De Freitas allowing a, a ridiculous overthrow. That's a good shot, right through the gap. And that is the 236 that Sri Lanka was seeking. And what a comprehensive victory! Terrific win for them. And just to show you how much they had to spare, let me tell you, it was nine overs and two balls left available to them to overtake England by five wickets. Well, that really was a terrific innings by Jaya Surya. 82 of 44 balls, three sixes, 13 fours. And a partnership of 101 with Gura Singer really sent Sri Lanka careering towards their goal. Ranatunga, 25 of 17 balls, kept it ticking along nicely. Well, England... And the bowlers. They opened with the slow bowler, Illingworth, got a wicket, but at great expense. No one, in fact, escaped. Except Dermot Reeve, I thought he bowled well and was underused. And Darren Goff came back with some style and some guts and determination towards the end.